Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, what's up? I am Alana Simone. Today actually makes two weeks exactly that I kept my twists in. So everybody who doubted me, okay, just know. Yeah, it's definitely time. Um, I mean, I'm sure you guys can see what's happening here. And you know something, it's not even a me thing. It's not, I don't wanna keep my hair in for that long. It's literally, my hair does not want to stay in for longer than two weeks. And I think two weeks is even still pushing it because some of these twists, y'all, it, it's okay. So I wanted to take my hair out and have a little chat with you guys as well because as you guys know, or if you don't know, I will be turning 30 in a couple of months. And to be honest, y'all, I have been having mixed emotions about entering this new chapter. Because on one hand, I'm really excited to experience this new chapter and embrace everything that my 30s has to offer. But then on the other hand, it's also like, did I accomplish everything that I wanted to accomplish in my 20s? And am I ready to close that chapter? I mean, whether I'm ready or not, we it's gonna happen, you know? <laughs> But yeah, so I just wanted to chat with you guys and just let you guys know where I'm at mentally, just in case anybody else is out there going through this space in life, going through this experience and kind of feeling, having those mixed emotions. You know what I mean? Whew, yeah. <laughs> so when I was in college, I said to myself, when I turn 23, I'm gonna get married. When I turn 25, I'm gonna have kids. Like I had this, this whole plan of how my whole life was gonna go, right? As I'm sure a lot of you guys have done as well, right? But y'all, when I turned 25, I could not even imagine having kids at that point in my life. And crazy enough, y'all don't know this, but when I was 25, I was actually going through depression, like deep depression. I was still living at home. I had just went through a really bad breakup after three years. I had just gotten fired from my job and I had no money. Like I'm talking broke, like, None. And I just felt as though my life was not going at all in the direction that I had hoped it was gonna go. Especially, I mean, you guys heard my plan. I was supposed to be having kids at this age, right? I'm talking waking up every morning, crying, wouldn't get out of bed, like just, just sad all the time. It was bad. And if you know me, you know that I, me, I am not a crier at all. Like it takes a lot for me to actually shed some tears so the fact that i was waking up crying every single morning it was it was definitely very concerning and around that same time i remember i got a letter in the mail um letting me know that it was time to start paying my student loans back and i was like oh because y'all know i just got fired from my job and i have no money so what what am i supposed to do here and i don't know why in my mind y'all i thought that if i didn't have money to pay it back when they asked, like I thought I had to have all the money in full in that moment or I was gonna go to jail. Like I, <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but I didn't know how it worked. And also I'm going through all this other stuff and now I got this letter on top of everything and I'm like, oh my God, now I'm gonna go to jail. Now I'm gonna go to jail because I don't have any money to pay these people back. My parents were so concerned and they were actually trying to get me to go to therapy at that time as well because they didn't know what to do. So I told them I'm not going to therapy. I didn't want to go. I just wanted to stay in bed all day. And so my mom literally gave me two options because at the time she was still teaching and she was teaching third grade. And she said, okay, you have two options. You're either going to go to therapy or you're going to wake up every morning and come to work with me. Like those are your two options because I'm not leaving you in the house all day alone by yourself crying and sad. Like that's not, I'm not doing that. So I said, you know what? I'll go to work with you, that's fine. And crazy enough y'all, going to work with my mom actually helped like a lot. Being around those kids just helped to, to really boost my mood and get me out of the funk that I was in. But I say all of this just to stress the importance of not putting those harsh deadlines on yourself because really I did that and I had no idea that I was actually doing a disservice to myself by, by doing that. And I had to just remind myself that it's great to have goals in life and things that you wanna accomplish but things don't always go as planned and that's okay. But that was just something that I was struggling with because for my entire life, I feel like I've always kind of just known what I'm doing. Like I was never in a space of ambiguity and just like not knowing what's gonna happen next or not really having a plan. So it was rough, it was rough, but I got through it. 
I was able to work it out. And around that time, that was when I started getting serious about my content and posting more and getting partnerships and things like that. So things really started to turn around for me at that time. So just when you think it can't get any worse and you've hit rock bottom, things really have a way of turning around. So I also learned that I am not a spring chicken anymore, guys. Like <laughs> we're, we're getting up there. And I say all of this because when I was in college, y'all, like when I say in the streets, like partying all weekend, the entire weekend. And you guys know that I don't drink, so it wasn't like going out and getting, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't that kind of turn up, but you know, just going out, partying, dancing, having a good time, but every weekend. Like I would literally make sure I got all my work done on Thursday because Friday night, you know, it's up. <laughs> and crazy enough, y'all, I would still have the energy to get up and go to class Monday morning. Like what, what type of activity was going on there? Like, what was that? Cause now I go out one day and I need at least two days to recover from, from the one day. So I don't know at what point it shifted, but yeah, we're definitely not, we, we ain't got it like we used to, you know? And today I still do go out cause you guys know that I love music and I love to dance, but I'm realizing that I have got like maybe two turnups in me a month like two, maybe three on a good month, maybe three. But I can't do the back-to-back -back nights or even the back-to-back -back weekends, y'all. Like I need a weekend to recover if I'm going out. Like I have to pick and choose because I just don't have the energy anymore. And I also need to recharge my social battery. But it also has a lot to do with the fact that I just really like being home, you know? Being in this space right now, I have learned so much about myself in my 20s like so much like before i moved out of my parents house i was so nervous and anxious because i didn't know if i was going to be able to to live and survive on my own you know because i'm kind of a scaredy cat like i don't like the dark i don't watch scary movies i don't do bugs i had never paid rent before i had never even taken the trash out before i moved out like believe it or not <laughs> and aside from college i had never lived without my parents under the same roof as me. You know, like I had never lived apart from them. So it was just a lot of moving parts. And when I had first moved out for like the first week, my parents were coming to help set up my apartment. And at the end of the night when they were leaving, I was getting back in the car with them to go back to their house every night. <laughs> Cause I just didn't want to stay in my apartment alone. Like I was scared. And I would literally ride back home with them and sleep in my room as if I didn't just put down first and last month's rent on my apartment. Like, <laughs> but then after a while I had to realize like, hey girl, you just put down all this money on this place. Let's, let's grow up, let's be an adult. Like let's, let's go move in for real. <laughs> but after the first night that I slept here, I woke up and I was like, oh, this is amazing. Like, I'm so upset that I wasted seven days not being here. I remember waking up and immediately asking Alexa to play Nuck If You Buck at like 8 a.m. because I wasn't able to do that at my parents' house, you understand? Yeah, you can't be waking up the entire household at 8 a.m. blasting trap music, especially in a Caribbean household, I'm sure you guys know. And I also learned very quickly that I love living alone. Like, it is such a luxury to live by yourself. And I also learned that I'm kind of OCD and um, a clean freak. One of my friends came to visit like the week after I moved in and... <laughs> I'm so embarrassed to share this story, but it's it's definitely one for the books. So I remember she stayed the night and I had Twix ice cream bars in my freezer. And so I gave her one. So we're eating our Twix ice cream bars. And after we were done, she went to go throw her, her wrapper away in the trash can. And I asked her if she can just rinse out the wrapper, like with all the chocolate residue before she throws it away in the trash. She kind of looked at me and gave me that like awkward laugh. And I just looked at her and I was like, yeah, can you, can you just rinse that out before you throw it away? And she actually did. She rinsed it out and put it in the trash can. And till this day, we laugh about that because she's like, Alana, I cannot believe you made me <laughs> wash out my wrapper before throwing it away. But y'all, I was that terrified of getting bugs because I'm like, okay, bugs are attracted to food and especially sweet things. So if this chocolate is in the trash can, the bugs are gonna find it and I'm gonna have an infestation and then I have to move out. You know what I'm saying? Like I really was just thinking all of these things were definitely gonna happen if we didn't wash out the wrapper, you know? It was a little extreme, 
Okay, it was a lot of extreme. It was a lot of extreme, but nonetheless, we have since <laughs> matured and moved on from that situation. But even still, guys, like I vacuum my place every single night. I mop twice a week. I wipe down my counters every single night because I also learned that I hate crumbs. Like crumbs on the counter, like if you go to do this and put your arms on the counter and you pick them up and there's crumbs stuck to your arms, drives me nuts. So, <laughs> so I wipe down my counters religiously. Yeah, it's a very, it's a very clean place in here. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I've gotten to this place of peace in life and it's to the point where if I'm ever like on a trip or if I'm ever like at a party or something, there will always be a point where I'm like, dang, I miss my place. Like I could go home now. You know what I mean? Not that I'm not having a good time, but I always will miss my place no matter what I'm doing. And I think it's just a matter of knowing that this is my space, <laughs> my space. And just knowing that I can curl up on my couch, watch my shows, cook, blast music, just do whatever I wanna do in here, you know? And I also remember the first time that I went grocery shopping after I moved in, and I was like, yes, I can now buy all of the junk food that I want because it's going back to my place. You know, because being at my parents' house, obviously they're not buying, you know, junk food for us every week. That wasn't happening. So I was really excited to do that, but then I quickly realized this is such a bittersweet moment because now that I can buy all this stuff, I, I'm not even craving it anymore. Like what a waste, you know what I mean? Like what, what a complete waste. <laughs> like candy and chips and all of that. I don't really have that craving anymore. If anything, I'm getting fruits. Like getting strawberries and blueberries, that's like exciting for me. And sometimes I do get the question of, you know, do you get lonely just being here by yourself? And I'm human, you know, I definitely have my days, but when I do have those days, I'll either go visit my parents, cause you guys know that I, I do that quite frequently, or one of my really good friends lives literally next door to me. So I just go hang out with her for the day. But I'm just surrounded by so much love and support that it's, it's very rare that I do get lonely, you know? And I also like being alone, like, like I enjoy it. And I've also realized the importance of not only being healthy physically, but being healthy mentally as well. And this past year, I've really put a lot of time and effort into making sure that I'm working out. So I go to the gym like four or five times a week and that's really helped a lot, not only physically, but mentally as well. Like I set goals for myself at the gym. I mean, you guys know about me challenging myself to, to be able to do a pull up and now I'm able to do several pull ups at the gym. So that's been a really big accomplishment for me. I just really wanna be living the healthiest life possible. And I am exactly where I wanna be in life mentally. And I'm just so thankful to have the circle that I have, my friends, my family, like, I'm in such a great space in life right now. I don't know, and sometimes I wish I could go back to my 25 year old self and just like let her know, this is not gonna be forever. Like you're gonna be fine. Like girl, you have no idea. You're gonna be so happy and at peace. Like just be patient. I wish I could have done that. But then again, who knows? Cause if I didn't go through that, that tough time when I was 25, maybe I wouldn't appreciate where I'm at right now. And I've also come to terms with the fact that maybe I won't get married. Maybe I won't have kids. That might not be my calling in this lifetime. But the most important thing to me is that I'm happy and my people are taken care of. Like that's the most important thing to me. I'm just so blessed to be entering this 30th year of life. And if you still have the support of your parents at this age, that is something to be thankful for. I know that if I'm sick or if I need help with something, I know that they're just a phone call away. And I will never take any of that for granted. I literally cannot believe that I kept these in for two weeks. Like, this was one of the hardest things. <laughs> I'm used to washing my hair once a week. So the fact that I wasn't able to wash my hair and I had to stretch it to two weeks, y'all, it was, it was a lot, it was a struggle. I even went to the pool a couple of days ago and my hair got wet and I was like freaking out cause I'm like, ideally I would want to shampoo my hair you know, because it was just the back half that got wet because I had it pulled up in like a bun and I kind of like dipped a little bit too much. So the back part got wet and I was like full on panicking. But I was like, you know what? I'm taking these out in a couple of days. Don't worry about it. It's going to be fine. I'm over here thinking I'm about to be bald headed in the back of my head because I don't know what chlorine does if you don't wash it out. And then there are people who can keep these in for like months. And I'm just like, how sway? Like how? Not to mention my scalp is, I can't even part my hair to show y'all what my scalp is looking like because 
it's giving, yeah, it's giving very much Frosty the Snowman in my scalp. Like she's ready to be washed. But for my 30th birthday, I am so excited. I have huge plans for my birthday, like huge. And I always said for 30, I, I wanna do it big. Like go big or go home, you know? Oh my God, you guys wanna hear something embarrassing? So remember I was telling you guys when I was 25, I had just gotten fired from my job. So before that point, I had never gotten fired from a job before. And <laughs> this was my first time. So when she called me into the office, I, I had no idea that that's what had even happened. Like I didn't even realize that I got fired. <laughs> story time so i got hired at this job and it was like a hybrid position and i believe what was my position something in the marketing field like something along those lines and when i got hired i never really got like official training so you know how when you get hired at a job you have like depending on the job you can have like a week or a month of training just to kind of know what you're doing at the job I never got that. So it was like, you got hired, here are your clients, you know, take it away kind of thing. And I'm like, oh, okay. So there were a couple of points um, during the time that I was working there where my boss would come over and ask me if I did X, Y, Z. And I would tell her, well, no, because I, I didn't know I had to do that. And I was always in her office asking questions because I'm like if I don't know how to do something I'm gonna ask I'm not gonna just wing it and hope that it's right and I think the final straw was there was another lady who was working at the same company who was pregnant and she had let's say five clients that she was dealing with I was never told that when she leaves for maternity leave that I'm taking over her clients now I, I know that nobody told me so she goes on maternity leave a week goes by and my boss came in and was like, hey, have you reached out to X, Y, and Z? And I was like, well, no, those are, you know, those are her clients. And she was like, no, when she goes on maternity leave, those were supposed to be yours now. And I was like, well, nobody told me that. I didn't know. Like, I didn't know. So it was just a lot of miscommunication. Um, and so as a result of that, after my 90 day probation period, she called me into her office and she was like, yeah, you know, we really like you here. You bring such great energy. I know you're a hard worker, but I just don't know how, how we're going to be able to keep you on. I didn't know that that equals you're fired. I had no idea. I'm like, oh, okay, well, let's figure it out. How are we going to keep me on, you know? Because <laughs> she never came fully out and said you're fired. So I didn't know that I was getting fired. <laughs> Y'all, how embarrassing. I didn't actually realize that that's what was happening until she was like wrapping up her speech and she was like, well, you know, we can have you come in for like one more week, um, but that's gonna be your last week. And then, you know, that'll be it. And at that point I was like, oh, 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 I'm fired. Oh, okay, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so that happened. And I was so upset guys, cause I was like, I was trying really hard. Like I was trying my best. I was doing what I thought was a good job. You know what I mean? And to get fired, it was just like, dang. But I went home, I told my family and obviously they had nothing but jokes, you know what I mean? My brother was like, oh, join the club. You know, we've all gotten fired from a job at least once, so welcome. <laughs> you know what, that goes to show you that you're just not being clear. Maybe I'm not the problem, you know what I'm saying? But funny enough though, that was probably one of the best things that could have happened to me because once I got fired, I was able to start putting all of my effort into my content. And from there, I was able to realize like, hey, I can make this a career. I have not had a full-time job since then <laughs> but yeah i just wanted to share with you guys where i'm at mentally because i know we don't really have chats like this like live chats but i figured if anybody else is in my position or if you guys are experiencing similar feelings you know about going into any chapter of your life just know that it's okay it's okay and you are not alone and just know that it's okay to be experiencing any of these things at any point in your life it's okay and just you know it's really important to, to not put these hard strict tight deadlines on your life because everybody's timing is different, everybody's goals are different, and just know that in the end, everything is gonna be fine and everything is gonna work out. But yes, that is it. Thank you all so much for keeping me company while I take out all of my hair. I'm gonna be, as you guys can imagine, I'm gonna be cleaning up. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Again, I am Alana Simone, and I will see you guys in the next one.